guys welcome to the ICD10 PCS coding series if you are new to the channel subscribe and follow the playlist from the beginning so that you understand all the concepts thoroughly this is part 23 of the inpatient coding series and today we will learn about the importance of root operations in PCS coding I'm Vinay Kumar. I carry an overall experience of two decades in the US healthcare industry with vast experience in coding, auditing, training and mentoring. I've helped many professionals in gaining knowledge and preparing for medical coding certifications. I'm dual certified both from AHIMA and AAPC with extensive knowledge in all the verticals of the revenue cycle management. So the topic today is the root operation destruction. So at the end of this session, we'll learn what destruction is and how it is used as part of the ICD-10 PCS coding. We will look at an example of coding from the medical and surgical section. And remember, medical and surgical section makes up the most important and the largest section of ICD-10 PCS. As you all know, there are 31 root operations in the medical and surgical uh, section of the PCS and these 31 root operations are divided into nine groups based on similar kinds of procedures and attributes. Today, we are looking at the first group which talks about root operations that take out some or all of a body part or sorry, we are talking about root operation group one. Okay, and that uh, that is specifically for root operations that take out some or all of a body part. So the root operations in this group are excision, resection, detachment, destruction, and extraction. These are the five root operations in this group. We have already seen excision, resection, detachment, right? Now today we are talking about destruction. So, destruction carries a character value of 5. Root operations, remember, are the most important aspect of building an ICD-10 PCS code. Okay, and these root operations uh, denote the objective of the procedure. So, you need to know what the provider or the surgeon is trying to do. What is the goal of the procedure? That will define the root operations. Always read the definitions of the root operation and compare it to the actual procedure performed. Now, destruction. By definition, destruction is defined as eradication of all or a portion of a body part by the direct use of energy, force, or a destructive agent. Destruction procedures take out a body part, which means that the procedure obliterates the body part, so it is no longer there. Destruction defines a broad range of uh, common procedures because, you know, since it can be used anywhere in the uh, body to treat a variety of conditions like skin and dental warts or nasal polyps, colon polyps, esophageal viruses, uh, endometrial implants or uh, treating nerve lesions. All these are examples, right? So, you know, uh, typical examples of destruction are uh, fulguration of re rectal polyps, cauterization of skin lesions, endometrial fulgurations. All these are part of destruction procedure. Remember, none of the body part is physically taken out as part of destruction. Think of common terminology for a destruction uh, root operation uh, because, you know, procedures or terminologies for destructions generally are like ablation, destruction, fulguration, cryotherapy, cauterization, coagulations, uh, sclerotherapy, and uh, pleurodesis. Usually, these are the terminologies that are generally uh, used to uh, define destruction procedures okay and one important point you will need to remember for all destruction procedures usually there is no pathology report because the tissue is destroyed completely right so you will not uh, have tissue only very rare uh, occasions where the tissue rem uh, remains in an instrument okay and that tissue which is remaining in the instrument may be sent for pathology, uh, pathology testing but otherwise uh, this particular uh, root operation, the procedure does not collect a specimen as such. It destroys the tissue. Now, 
<coughs> sorry guys this is an example of coding destruction procedures okay the patient has condylomas of the cervix vagina and vulva laser speculum was inserted via the vagina and using zener on a 20 watt setting the laser was used to obliterate the condyloma in both the vagina and the cervix the laser speculum was then removed the laser was then used to obliterate the third condyloma in the vulvar area so basically this is where uh, icd10 pcs is a little different there are three condylomas one in the cervix one in the vagina and the third one on the vulva and all three were removed so you will need three different codes to define these three procedures until unless there is a single body part value we'll talk about that later but otherwise this procedure example requires three codes okay let's look at the codes now now this is the corresponding table that shows the destruction of condyloma of the cervix okay the section is medical and surgical body system is female reproductive system uh, root operation is destruction then the body part we are taking the first body part value which is cervix and the approach would be via natural or artificial opening because a speculum laser speculum was inserted then no device and no qualifier remember device is coded only when a specific device is left inside a body part after the procedure and not something which is used to complete the body part uh, or complete the root operation so you need to be careful with the device value so the code for the destruction of condyloma of the cervix would be 0 u 5 c 7 z and z this is for the cervix and as i said there are three condylomas now the second one the same table okay the medical and surgical section female reproductive system root operation is destruction but then the fourth character for the vagina would change to g the fifth character would be via natural or artificial opening sixth and seventh character would be z no device no qualifier now this is the second code for destruction of condyloma from the vagina and the code would be 0 u 5 g 7 z and z so the only difference in the first code and the second code is the body part and everything else remains the same this is for the second one now the third code so 0 u 5 m for the body part x external approach z and z so this is for the destruction of condyloma of the vulva okay uh, medical and surgical female reproductive system destruction but remember the body part value is vulva because the third one is what we are coding now for the approach this is where it's a little different because the vulva is externally accessible and the device speculum was not inserted for the vulvar condyloma so the approach in this case for the third one would be external no device and no qualifier so the code for the destruction of condyloma of the vulva is 0 u 5 body part m or vulva x external approach z and z so here the body part value and the approach both are different compared to the other codes in this example now the key points to remember one important guideline or instruction you will need to remember in icd10 pcs is sometimes multiple codes are uh, needed to capture all components of the pro uh, all components are parts of the procedure okay so approach values again play an important role and you should always select the approach based on where and how the procedure is performed on a body part so these are two important factors in an icd10 pcs code okay you will have to use multiple codes to define all components of the procedure if you require uh, separate codes you have to code, code them separately just like what we suggest now in our example <clears throat> okay and as usual you'll find the online version of the icd10 pcs codebook here uh, from the link i have also provided this link in the description of the uh, video so you can go check out there thank you for watching guys uh, please make sure that you subscribe it will really help me a lot 
and follow the series from the playlist i have uh, made it in a series serial order like you know if you go uh, by the series you'll be able to learn it properly in the next set of videos uh, we'll talk about the medical and surgical in detail again and we'll look at the next set of root operations and the guidelines for pcs thank you